How's it going everyone? It's Andrew from MAO Magic and this is going to be a little bit of a long one so we're going to jump right into this. We have the new second generation Shine from Misfit Wearables. Now at this point all of these wearables are just getting very complicated and they're getting a lot harder to review because there's so many different moving parts to them not actual moving parts but there's a lot of different features that these are focusing on now instead of just the base ones that all they had to do was track your steps so the shine 2 adds a lot of new features compared to the first generation version itself so first off, we have some new sleek or slimmer packaging. It's going to obviously help get this onto shelves a lot faster. Uh, it's not going to take as much packaging space. Inside, you'll have the shine itself on top and then a few different clips and options underneath of that. You have the band, a little plastic clip, which will replace the rubber one that came with the first generation, and then the actual strap itself. The first generation came with the battery. This one's already installed, so you don't have to worry about it. And it came with an opener which you also don't have to worry about because we're going to use that little sports clip to be able to open this up. So the Shine itself, this is a activity tracker. It has now a capacitive touch sensitivity on the top before it would uh, register by you tapping on it and it would like detect those two sudden movements as you were tapping the screen. This new one just has capacitive touch sensitivity on top. So when you touch that aluminum, that'll allow it to wake up. So we're going to get right here into the Shine application. You don't need to worry about uh, actually going through the screen, but you can have multiple devices hooked up to yours. So I have like the Flash, I have the, the original Shine, and now we have the new one. So when you go ahead, you can hit Add Devices. We're going to choose the new Shine 2. It'll immediately find it around here because this device should wake up pretty much as soon as you remove it from the packaging. It'll walk you through some of the new features, such as the uh, built-in vibration motor it has inside, so it can wake you up at the right time, similar to the Jawbone and others. It'll give you alerts throughout the day if you're not moving enough. It'll help you uh, see alerts. This will actually show up with your calls and your text messages right on those LEDs that are now on this device. And they're a lot brighter than the last generation ones, as well as the fact that they come in different colors. Before it was just all white. Now there are tons of colors on the new LEDs. So the strap is the first thing that is pretty significantly different from the last generation. Uh, it's a little bit wider, which helps because before when it was on your wrist, it looked small. So when you're wearing this as kind of a watch, it looked weird because it was the face itself was tiny and the band was tiny and it looked it looked weird. It's like such a premium feeling device itself. It's all made out of that aircraft grade grade aluminum, but the strap itself was just this really thin, cheap rubber uh, strap. The new one is still like the same material as the original version and it looks pretty much identical but it's a little bit wider and it also has this new sports clip. The first generation had a tendency to fall out of your of the strap especially when you were doing sports activities which is pretty much the last thing you want. You're spending $100 on a activity tracker you don't want it to fall out. So this new one has a special little clip on here that's going to hold that into the strap so when you have this on you can actually rest easy. This is not going anywhere. That said, these straps are actually from my probably my biggest criticism with the Shine because they literally mark it as fashion. They show it everywhere. I'll show you some of the accessories you can get for it later. And when the straps that it come with it, to me these do not look good. It's like such a very nice looking device and such a crappy looking strap it's it's okay to put on but it's a little bit obscure and this is not my favorite part this is probably my least favorite part both the clip and this rubber band that come with it are not great however there are lots of other options that you can pick up uh, i immediately picked up like the leather one for my first generation now the second model is also waterproof you can wear it up to 50 meters underwater so you can actually wear it swimming and it'll measure your laps they actually have a whole version out that they paired with uh, i believe speedo on so you can do all the different swimming and it'll track your laps just for that you can double tap on that screen now and it'll just get that capacitive touch sensitivity and show you the time and then your progress so there it's almost 50 percent of my progress for the day and that does work with the reverse order as well here you can see it is lighting up with blue, so that's letting me know that I have a phone call coming in. It'll also do green, which would be a text message. You'll see this kind of animation when it's restarting. When it goes about this far, you can see this is about 70% of your day's progress. And here you can see it's lighting up when you have a phone call, and it'll give you that green color compared to the blue for the text. And they do vibrate when you get those call notifications as well, so you can make sure you see them. Here you can see how it lights up when it tells the time. So here the green would be the hour and the blue would be the minute. So in this case it would be 550. Now as far as the application itself goes, it is a very good looking application. On the top you'll simply see some progress charts for your uh, 
activity as well as your sleep. You can scroll down and see basically timeline for that whole day. So anytime there is any amount of activity, it'll show, okay, there's light activity, medium activity, a lot of activity, and each of those you can tell what type of activity that was. You can put in your food. You can either put in photos from this application or you can tie it into something like My Fitness Pal. I have My Fitness Pal pulling that in there. You can manually edit the sleep, but this will automatically track your sleep at night. You can choose from several different types of activities. It isn't as robust as few of the other platforms, but it does include swimming, and this is one of the few that actually can track your swimming activity. If I head all the way back to the top, you can see your progress. So today I'm well over my goal of 1,600 points here, and you can see how many steps that is. You can show the ring. You can switch it to an actual bar graph throughout the day, and you can also switch over to your sleep mode and see all your light versus deep sleeping. On the top left hand side there, you can see that little calendar icon. That's how you can jump between showing in just today, week view, or for the entire month. So you have different views that you can toggle through so you can see how you're progressing over time. And like everything else these days, there is a social aspect as well. You'll see Mr. Fit up on top there as well as yourself and any other friends that you may have added so you can see how they are doing. In your settings here, you can actually see your device and which one you're actually going to be using. You can put the position where you're wearing it. So if you're wearing it uh, clipped to your chest, in your pocket, on your wrist, whatever it may be. There's some information about that Link app, which we're going to look at. And then any other devices in the order of which it's showing that time versus your activity. You can also manually log things by hitting that plus button there at the bottom. You can add photos of your food. You can add weight to track that. You can add any activities or manually add sleep. Now, one of the other big features of the Shine 2 is the Link ability. So there is the Flash, which has the ability to do a whole bunch of different things, but we're going to look at the Shine 2. So this only has one uh, spot that you can add something. So a double tap is to see your progress in the time, and if you do a triple tap, that will allow you to, to tie one of these activities to it. So there's a lot of them in here to choose from, such as sending out a yo, something with if, tying up to the if network. If you have it harmony, maybe triple tapping it will turn on your entertainment system, or you can have it ring your phone. So triple tap it, and it'll find your phone for you. You can have that triple tap pause or play, next or back on your music, or even take a photo. Now, if we do look at their other cheaper option, the Misfit Flash, and we have a whole review of that as well, but if you want to see all the different features that has, uh, there are a few others that you can do, such as controlling a presentation, turning lights on and off, and you have all these other different options for presses, like one press, two presses, a holding press, a triple press. There's a few other uh, actions that you can tie to those button presses, but because this only has that capacitive uh, sensitivity, they don't want to be tying it up with a bunch of different weird ones, so as far as the actual Misfit Shine 2 is concerned, you can tie one activity from that first list of abilities that we looked at so we've looked at the application we've looked at the link application let's take a look one more time at the hardware and compare this to the original shine and how it has changed so this is what you got with the original shine you got the band you got the shine itself and you have this one this is actually basically what is now that plastic clip that we saw earlier it was just a simple little silicon loop that you could put over maybe your shoelace on a pocket anything like that it wasn't fairly secure and i think a lot of people had problems with that so i know that's why they switched to the clip but the clip also feels fairly cheap because it is just a little flimsy plastic thing even the cheaper jawbone up move feels a little bit more secure the band itself as you can see here it's a little bit thinner when we compare it side by side with the new model however it is pretty much the same design i do wish it looked a little bit better especially for more formal events but it is what it is. It does look a little bit better with the new black version of the Flash compared to the silver version, even though they do still have that silver version available in the new model. So we do have that little holder piece that we looked at a little bit earlier from the new one, and you can see that attaches the underside in these little divoted areas. Compared to the first one, we, had, we don't have that little sensor thing, that little hole on top for the sensor to get out because that is now built into around the sides of the new one. That's where like the Bluetooth signal escapes from. It was on the back of the new of the old one and now it's on the sides of the new model. That clip also just attaches to the back here and you can use this to twist to remove the battery. Just move it counterclockwise and you can pull the pieces apart and replace the battery inside every six months or so. So even though the new one has brighter and more colorful LEDs, and it's thinner, you can actually get away with the same great battery life as the first generation. That means you don't ever have to charge this. You can simply leave it on there and it'll alert you when that battery is low and you can swap it out with a standard uh, coin cell battery you can pick up pretty much anywhere. If you compare size wise compared to the first generation, it is a little bit larger, which I actually prefer, and it is quite a bit thinner. 
otherwise it's pretty much the same design as we saw before now if you are interested in one the link is in the description below but let's go ahead and look at the pros and cons first off it has swimming which means it can actually track your swimming and like that model they introduced with speedo but it has that great waterproofing up to 50 meters notifications you can see your phone calls and your text show up in here which is really handy if you don't have something like an apple watch to see those the link app so you can actually trigger things with this like using that triple tap you can uh, trigger an if notification or your harmony system or take a selfie anything like that which is very useful and the design of the actual tracker itself is very spot on it looks gorgeous it looks super nice however if we go ahead and look at the cons Opening it can be a little bit tough, especially if you don't have that piece that they include, that little lock that you use for the actual sports band. The band itself does not look super great. It's very minimal and kind of rubbery looking, which doesn't exactly match the high class look of the tracker itself. You can only put one trigger, which is that triple tap. So you can only do one thing. So you have to know what you want to do. If you want to ring your phone or take a photo or you control your music, you don't have all of those options. You have one option you need to decide beforehand. So that way when you actually need that one thing, you can actually do it. The capacitive touch, while better than the previous method of getting those lights to show up, it still has a lot to be desired. It's still not 100% accurate, and I have to do it quite a few times to get it to wake up. And lastly, the food tracking is not quite up to snuff. The Up has much better food tracking, but you can just use that MyFitnessPal, which will cover all of your bases. Now, while they didn't have any available at launch, they do have a bunch of accessories coming out for the Shine 2, just like they had for the original Shine. So much, much nicer bands, both in leather and nylon, and just fancier versions all around. Again, the link is in the description below if you want to pick one up. Throw up any questions, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see everyone next time.